Hello guys, welcome to Student Zone on High School Life and today our topic is single sex schools or miss schools. Before we delve right into it, I would like to go for a quick break and when I return, you get to know my guests for today. This video is brought to you by Ruben Computers and Accessories. Welcome back from that short video and today I have with me here Tracy Nanama. Sweetheart, how are you doing? I'm doing great by the grace of God in you. Okay, I'm also doing good. You're looking gorgeous. Thank you. What's your You're secret? I want you to tell us. What's your secret? What's your secret? <laughs> I don't have any secret. It's by God. It's by God. Yeah. Because you're looking very good today. Thank you. And today, like our topic, as I said, is single sex schools or miss schools. You personally, which one do you prefer? I personally, I prefer miss school. Why do you prefer miss school? Miss school is the best. Oh, why is it the best? There are meals there where you can do something that will impress the meals. Because of impression, that's why you prefer miss yeah. schools. Because girl school, you don't care about those who are there. They are all girls. You just do what you feel like doing. So just because of the impression that you prefer a miss school yeah. to a girl school. Yes, and what please. else? I want to know more. Why you think miss school is the best? Miss school is the best because I know it's the best. Because <laughs> yeah, you know it's the best. <laughs> yeah. Because you are in a miss school, right? Yeah, I'm in a miss school. And what are some of the advantages like being in a miss school? It helps you to improve your academic records. It, it improves your academic performance. Yeah. But normally you hear them saying the girls' schools are the best when it comes to academics. Really? Yeah. I haven't heard that. You yet. haven't heard that. So you think Miss schools are the best when it comes to academic performance? Yes. And you personally, your academics have improved since you went to a Miss mm, school. Yeah. Really? Yeah. And extremely about, good right now. Extremely good. Mm. And what are the other, the other advantages like you have it helps you to be neat. Be neat. In mm. what way? You're in a girls' school. Girls are over you. Mm -hmm. Like, you can wear a uniform for about even a week and you don't care. <laughs> you know, As for a miss school, there, there are meals there. Meals do talk. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when they hear a scent about you, uh -huh. you know, and even someone loves you or likes you in the hey. class and wants to come and approach you and propose to you uh -huh. the guy will be like mm, yo wait which am i want to know yeah you get it so it was, yeah so it helps you to keep yourself very well yeah. i personally i've been in a girls school and also a miss school before and my experience at a girls school it was great because sometimes the girls were in needs like they are improving in terms of academics also it depends I, on the school it depends on the school right yeah because i don't know for that side and when it comes to academics too, I think the girls' schools are way better. Or it's a lie. It's a lie. Yeah. Yeah, because when you are in a miss school, because of the guys, you are not even able to concentrate and start. How can't you concentrate? You need to let them ashamed. Like mm. let them be ashamed. So you have to focus. Like... Focus. Always focusing. Always focusing. But the guys who also come, when they see a nice girl small, they all want to approach you. Sometimes you don't even get time for your boobs and others. Have you experienced that personally? No, yet. No. Not yet. Mm -hmm. So you, you focus on your boobs very well. Yeah. And when it comes to like a miss school, in terms of confidence and like being able to if speak out. If you are out, able to speak out in a miss school, you can speak in the public. You can speak more than being in a girl's school. Yeah. Really? Because when you're in public, many people are there, both boys and girls. Mm -hmm. So miss school, you, like single sex school, it was only girls. Uh -huh. And if it was boys, it was only boys. Mm -hmm. So when you're speaking, you see girls there. Mm -hmm. You'll be shy. Mm -hmm. And you, when you see girls, as for girls, when you see boys there, you'll be shy. So, so like are you trying to say you don't get the chance to interact with the guys you know more about them if you are in a girls school or... yeah when you are in a mixed school mm -hmm. and you talking to the guys you know guys what they like and like when you are speaking in public you have the confidence of speaking mm -hmm. but like as for the girls who's like the single sex school because they don't get the chance to interact with the opposite sex you know they don't have that confidence or Many depends on the parents. The parents. How they raise the child. 
how they raise the child, how they let the child explore his or her self. Oh, okay, I get it. Because normally when we go for like public gardens for senior high schools, they have a way that the girls behave, the girls from the girls' schools and that of the mid school. That yeah. should just be yeah. nah. <laughs> Because, like, you see the girls will be very shy. They'll be always quiet at their place. But the middle schools, no, it's way different. When yeah. They, when they go for public yeah, gardens. No. You know, because you guys... I like, like, they go in those things. You get the vibe. Uh-huh. Jamaka, like, hey, give them down. Oh, okay. Yeah, I get you. I get you. Yeah. So you prefer the middle schools. And yeah. you never change to a girls' school. No. Because girls' schools, like, it's, sometimes it's funny. It builds your confidence because hey. girls are around. Are yeah. you sure? That's... You don't feel shy of anyone. Nah. <laughs> Being a girls' school is a great experience to uh, You I know what I'm so. talking about? Really? Think so. I don't think so. Because it's great. When I was there, you no, know, like, we used to do things together. We are all girls. Like, we are yeah, you are all girls. And we got... But when you see a boy, because you're a girl, like, you have been in a girls' school, and always around girls, when you see a guy cry, you are shy of the guy. <laughs> oh, really? And you don't need to be shy of anyone. Yeah. And we also got time to focus on our academics because no guy is going to distract you with proposals That's like you were you saying. Yeah. You are, in, you are in a miss school, so you need to study hard to make the boy shy. Like when he's even coming to approach you, he's even trying a ways and means to get, you know, contact to you. Like, mm-hmm. No, he's not even getting it. Yeah. As for the girls' school, oh, Charlie, my main coach, yeah, Abba, yo, make your life. Because you have been in a girls' school for so long. Oh, okay, Matthias. Yeah. <laughs> like when you even go out and there's a lot of guys there, you don't even know what to do. Maybe like going to a club, you don't know what to do with your life. Really? You just be standing there, you know, you don't know what to do. Yeah, yeah. I guess you just. A lot of girls out there, they want to be in a girls' school so bad because of the vibe that you find at that place. But you're also like trying to convince others because me schools help. Okay? You get exposed to the other side yeah. of the world. And besides, when you complete a girls' school and you move to a tertiary, there are going to be boys over there, boys and girls, and you're going to know how to interact with them and others. Yeah. So, like, you know, today, like, they just finished writing their BC and they're hoping to select their schools. So I want you to yeah. tell the girls and the boys out there something about the school selection, what they prefer and others. They should just go in for a mixed school. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They should go in for a mixed school. Yes. And they are the best. Not only the girls' schools are good academically, right? Yeah. So they should go in for the mixed schools. It depends on, maybe some people do want what the parents want for them yeah so if your parents want you to be in a miss school and you love to be in a miss school go for it and if your parents want you to be in a girl's school and you know you don't love it <laughs> just stop go to the one you have the heart for uh-huh. yeah yeah i get you ladies and gentlemen so i hope you've also learned a lot from today and the choice like it's up to you to select what is going to help you in academics and everything and also makes your parent proud and so all the BEC candidates who just finished writing their BEC congratulations yeah so hope you decide what's the best whether being in a mid school or being in a girl school is all up to you my dear would you like to give shout outs to anybody out there? yes shout out to my brother Lennox mm-hmm. he's on TikTok as Lennox yeah. and IG as Lennox oh. so and shout out to Nes Niyama. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, mm-hmm. and to the ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, High School Life for more. I'll catch you up next time. Bye bye. Bye. Oh, yeah. Education at its best. With entertainment. Compass Live. High School News. Only on High School Live. <laughs> I, 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 I,